Hello, welcome back to another Deep Rock Galactic video, y'all. In today's video, I'm gonna be going on a solo, or, well, <laughs> in today's video, I'm gonna be going on this week's Elite Deep Dive uh, with Engineer here, taking what is probably my most favorite build in this game. That being the Warthog Auto Shotgun with the mini shells and stable overclock, and the Shard Diffractor with its overclock feedback loop. Before I get into how I have the guns built, if YouTube has recommended my content to you, or you just found my channel just by, uh, I, I can't even think of anything. <laughs> you just found my channel, and you like the content I make, maybe consider subscribing. Really appreciate it, help the channel grow, and I like to have you guys along for the ride. Alright, uh, today I have the Warthog Auto Shotgun as the primary. How I have it built here is in Tier 1, I have a faster rate of fire. Tier 2, I have more sh uh, pellets. In Tier 3, I have a higher magazine capacity. Tier 4, I have bigger pellets or more damage. And in Tier 5, I have both uh, fully automatic firing and a faster rate of fire. And then for the overclock today, like I said, it's mini shells and stable overclock. Basically, this gives you sig a significant increase in both the magazine and the ammo capacity and less recoil. But at the cost, you have a uh, you can no longer stun the targets with the Warthog and you have a lower damage output. Honestly, this overclock is more like a balanced overclock than anything. So honestly, they should just really change it to a balanced overclock and then just give it a different and stable overclock. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, no, that, that's just me in my opinion. For the secondary, like I said, I have the shard diffractor. I have it built is in tier one. I have more total ammo. Tier two, I have a bigger area of effect. Tier three, I have a bigger magazine size. Tier four, I have heat. And in tier five, I have biomass converter. Basically what this does is it's supposed to be giving you more ammo for more bugs that you kill, but it, it more like it just delays the amount of ammo that you lose. Um, the more bugs that you kill, <laughs> but it's really nice uh, to come to pair it with the balanced overclock feedback loop. Basically what feedback loop does is uh, the AOE damage and range increases over the duration of the beam as you're firing it. So basically um, pretend like there's this like little ball that spirals around the end of the beam and the more you shoot uh, the beam, the bigger that ball or circle gets and it does more damage uh, over time as well. But at the cost, you have less ammo with the feedback loop, but that's fine. <laughs> for my grenades, oh, whoops. For, uh, <laughs> for my grenades today, I have the lure grenades. I have my sentries built here today. Is I'm taking two sentries, or the Gemini system. I'm taking quick deploy, so faster, uh, or uh, yeah, quick deploy. Tier 3, I'm taking stun, and in tier 4, I'm taking Hawkeye system. Basically, this allows my sentries to shoot at further ranges, and it, it also allows me to point stuff out with my uh, laser pointer and it'll the sentries will target to the things I point out with my laser pointer platform gun I have both ammo in tier one and two and then I have the plaster crete mk2 Ooh, wait uh, 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 oh 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 Merry Christmas even though it's April <laughs> I'll revise car grenades and electric bullets all right oh mission control didn't pop up there hope that'll be a patch for them to to clear out <laughs> that'll be a, a patch for them to do as well as fix some minor um what is it typos <laughs> that they totally fix all the time in every single update honestly i might do a a season four wish list video like what to see in season four honestly there's a, there's kind of a few things like i i've stated a lot of ideas throughout my videos um but i i honestly don't know <laughs> I don't know what what they would do for season four. All we know is that there's a fauna like stuff growing uh, from the center of Hoxies. That's all we know. That's all we know so far. Where is Mission Control? Mission Control is just gone. Was Mission Control? Um. Hold on. Audio. Yeah, I have Mission Control on. Where is Mission Control's UI? <laughs> Honestly, if if this is a glitch. I could honestly uh, probably do something that I wanted to do a while ago. Okay, so I don't know who was here for it uh, in one of my community posts. I asked what class does everyone think Mission Control would be? And everyone voted on it, it being Engineer. So what I was going to do from that was I was going to play uh, as Mission Control. I was going to disable Mission Control uh, like his his like 
was just going to get rid of Mission Control's uh, voice lines, so I couldn't know when there was a swarm happening or when there was uh, like a meteor happening, anything. And I was going to turn off music and just have my own music playing, like edit over my own music in the, the video. But um, when I turned off Mission Control's, uh, what is it, his volume, it didn't actually get rid of Mission Control's UI. And there was no way for me to disable that. So I just got, I got so upset because I was like, no, I can't, I can't do this video idea now. I can't do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is so satisfying with uh, mini shells, honestly. I, I still don't know what the, what it is about that I really like mini shells uh, with feedback loop. Hmm. Because it's kind of the exact opposite of what um, magnetic pellet alignment is, which is that magnetic pellet alignment, you have a slower rate of fire and a little bit less ammo, but you can do a lot of high damage at long ranges. As for like mini shells, you just have a lot of ammo, but you can't really do that much damage. That's fine. Um, looks like the black box is up ahead. Maybe I can get to it before a swarm happens. Hello, Molly. I guess I could continue going downward, but at the same time, I'm going to need to probably dig my way out of this hole. <laughs> I just know it. I kind of want to go back to playing more Demon Souls after this. But at the same time, uh, Demon Souls has kind of a different level of like difficulty. I wouldn't say Demon Souls is hard. But at the same time, it definitely was the stepping stones to what is now uh, Soulsborne games. So, I, I don't know. I wouldn't say it's easy either, though. I am kind of stuck on a boss, mainly because I, I did my build wrong. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay, I'll just get that OP fire sword and I'll just beat the game. <laughs> but I won't be able to kill anything in tight corridors. <laughs> eh, it's a problem. Yeah, it's a problem everyone runs into, I guess. Get an OP sword, and then it's just like, oh, I can't use this OP sword. Huh. Or no, I can, it's just, it's it's too OP. <laughs> Quite literally. Oh, would you put a sock in it? Your UI is gone as is, so why are you still talking? <laughs> oh, wow, look at all that. Cool. <laughs> They're all gone. Anyways, <laughs> that was so satisfying to see. Did I leave Steve behind? Where, where is Steve? I may have accidentally left him behind again. I really wish Steve would be able to fit in the tight corridors, but I noticed that when you friend him, his hitbox becomes just slightly bigger. That's probably why that's yeah, that's probably why he's not able to fit through most spaces anymore. Yeah, <laughs> more room. Let's go. All right. It's fine if I can't really see any anything from the other side. It's all good. All right. <laughs> and we're almost done. <laughs> Fire. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, stay away. Stay all the way over there. <laughs> Sorry, Bosco. <laughs> Bosco was like, Aah. Nice. All right. Get the hell out of here to the next mission. All right. On to the next mission. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> that's ooh, that's interesting. All right. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, mama, that's a lot of nitro. <laughs> what? Don't stare at it. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. There's a haunted. There's a haunted detonator. Ah! Oh! Help! 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 help. Oh, uh, go. Go time. Go, 
Here, just keep mining that. <laughs> Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to reconsider my life choices. Ah! Molly, stay right there, please. That is so much nitro. Where the... Where are you? Where? Where were you? Now you're dead. That's where... Oh, God. There we... Oh, hi. Look at that. Come here. Come here, Molly. Is there another one? Question mark? Hi. Owie. Ah! Time to go. Go time. You know what? That's what. No. Mm. Swarm egg? Question mark? Nope. Ah, uh, Steve. One of you. Yes, Steve. No. Just shoot. Just hold. Just hold it. Just hold mouse one. Hold mouse one. Hold mouse one. Ah! I'm dead. Yep. <laughs> Here, slam. There you go. Kill everything. <laughs> yeah, no, he got the egg, right? I think so. Swarm? Question mark? Yep. I have an idea. It's gonna be a stupid idea, though. Oh, a real detonator just spawned. Well, this is the stupid part. Nope. Okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get mad. <laughs> I'm just kind of surprised. <laughs> like, why is there a real one now? <laughs> that. Here, you slam. There we go. And I had my immunity frames. <laughs> and everything died. <laughs> so the moral of the story is, is dying is good. <laughs> Where's the... Okay. Well, it's definitely not an ideal spot <laughs> to be fighting a detonator or a dreadnought, but... Um, I'm not opposed to it, so uh, now I'm opposed to it. <laughs> now I'm opposed to it. <laughs> okay. Oops, it easy. I'm gonna drop it over here. Cool. Nope. Bruh. Bruh. Oh my god. Why are you getting on the weirdest terrain ever? Great. Well. Oh my god. Okay. I am going to go back to the starting room. Make you disappear. Okay. Woo! Okay. Draw the drop pod. Pause this. Time to go. Holy crap. It's probably back in the starting room. Will not deny it. Was. Yeah, looks like it is. Okay. Mule or Molly? Need you to hurry your fat caboose up. Open up, please. Thank you! Woo! Alright. Holy crap, dude. Uh, two things that definitely need to get added. Like, if they're ever gonna do it. Oh my god. Oh, uh, refinery won't be that bad. I hate Hive Guard. <laughs> two, 
Fighting those things together, though. Oh my god. <laughs> it made me want to lose my mind. <laughs> Shut up, Midget Control. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. Feedback loop it will just be always be so enjoyable to me, honestly. Let's fight around this area. Is that a guard? No. No guard. Only normal grunt. <laughs> Alrighty. This is a fairly big open cave. Sure hope there are no cave leeches on the ceiling. They're gonna grab me. <laughs> <laughs> so much better than walking. <laughs> okay. Oh, this has been a pretty fast elite deep dive. Oh no, there's a swarm. Look out. Whatever will I do with feedback loop? Put the other one over here on the other side. Oh, I didn't even deposit the... <laughs> ah! Owie! <laughs> oh, there he is. Alright. Swarm's about over. Okay. Yeah. So now... Um... What to do about that? <laughs> I guess we just... I don't know. Let's do it. I have a fat forehead. <laughs> there you go. Oh. We're almost there. Just, just a few more steps, engineer. Go! Woo! <laughs> nice. Wait, what? I th oh, I thought they said... Well, Bosco, you're going to have to... Sadness. Alright, whatever. Whee! <laughs> I just started spam clicking. I was just like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm Stony Rock. Wow, okay. Um, re oh, <laughs> they all just died to all those splutters. Alright, anyways, bugs. As much as Bosco would love to kill you guys, uh, he needs to get to work. As for me, I'm gonna sell my fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> I really just sat on my phone and was just like, yep. No way, really? We're about to have another one. Oh. No. Let this song play out. <laughs> Please. Ah. You me? Ah! Why, why is there calling a line of loot bugs? Go. Go. Start it up! Ah. Start it up! Ah. Oh, I knew I was not gonna get out of that alive. All right, whatever. I started it up. <laughs> All right, here we go. Time to start burning them. You're telling the bugs to get ready or me? <laughs> Good news, team. No, it's not. <laughs> Mission Control is a fucking liar. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> Run! Run to sugar! Ah! <laughs> ah! Yes, my lore grenades, go! Get distracted, bug! Steve? Steve? Oh, I got the wrong bug! <laughs> Burn it all! God, there was so many Praetorians. I think there was a pra the Praetorian swarm happened with that egg swarm. Oh my god. All I know is that I survived. <laughs> oh man. It was really only these two pipes that broke too. Nice. Oh yeah, bugs. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> I just want this to be flat. Okay. Flat like my head. <laughs> I want to know how much kills I got now. Damn. Hmm. Maybe like 500 around there. It's my best guess. Actually, my best guess is probably 400. 
Just only on one brick as well again. Yeah. Wow. My luck really just turned around. <laughs> All right, cool. Ah, uh, yes, and only an hour recording session. Let's go. <laughs> kind of did wish a detonator spawned in so I could just see all of it explode. Ah, well. That's okay. Here's the lure grenades, because I know they'll put just a bunch of bugs are going to spawn in out of nowhere. When I press launch. Ah, uh, what? I already started it up. <laughs> This is a fun glitch so far. If it stays like that, I could probably record that video that I was talking about. Wee! Ah, just send me in. <laughs> right into the jump pod. Rock and stone. Alrighty. What an elite deep dive. <laughs> oh, man. Yep, 500. Nice. <laughs> And eight downs throughout the entirety of the thing. Well, like I said, this is just my absolute most favorite build in this entire game. I I don't know who it was that um, recommended this, if if at all. Uh, I don't know. I think it was just uh, someone recommended to play with mini shells one day, and then I did. And then I, I just was just like, you know, I really enjoy the feedback loop on the secondary. Why don't I just combine these together? And then I did, and then I just started playing with both of these, and I just fell in love with it so much it's just the, both this, these guns how they're built is just so much fun uh here's how the warthog auto shotgun was built all the numbers and all the all the ghibli jabs <laughs> and then here's all the shard fractor uh or yeah here's all the number the numbers for the shard fractor Here, here's all of it for that build yeah no like i said you can you can bring lore grenades to distract the bugs or you can bring ssgs uh that could totally work as well for a little bit more aggression upon the bugs Anyways, though, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you didn't subscribe. Uh, I thank anyone who stuck to the end. I uh, really appreciate y'all. And until then, uh, Rocket Stone, minus.